to 101.1 FM, AM 1160, and WCCSradio.com. On your Wednesday morning, it's 746 now, 14 away from the top of the hour. And Kelly Fox is with us this morning from ICTC, joining us here on Indiana in the morning. And it's rare that we get the opportunity just to speak with you and and focus in upon you. So. Right, right. But I, as I said during the downtime there, we are talking about many of our students and many of our programs this morning. So yeah. it's exciting news to share with our listeners. Our conversation brought to you by Marcus and Mack, voted best personal injury law firm in the best of Indiana County contest. Marcus and Mack, a law firm representing injured people and you know right off the bat you want to show what you have over there from the culinary department. right and i'm going to use this to blend into our story oh, as well right? yeah because yes facebook live always sharing some sweet treats with you guys so here nice. at the radio so nice. and uh these pumpkin cookies are just absolutely oh, sh- timely don't tell anyone <laughs> <laughs> they're to die for so those are really good and you can never go wrong with our chocolate chippers at ah, the no. culinary department so you have two really great cookies there to get you through Very today because nice. i don't know if they'll last till tomorrow but how do they tie in with what we're talking about well i i like to do that because you know every month we talk about the delicious dessert we bring to you mm-hmm. um and then sometimes we forget to notice that our graphics department made this wonderful oh, sticker yeah. for you to know that they came from ICTC and that they were well made. Mm-hmm. And so that little project involved two very different program areas, uh, one from the IT world and one from our public service sector, and they came together to make a great presentation to our friends here at Renda. But what it does also point out is that uh, every little thing that you buy in a store Somebody had to make that, and uh, it had to, you know, there was design involved uh, and the actual production of that sticker, even the plastic container that it came in, even though that wasn't produced at ICTC. No, it was not. The cookies that are inside of it, uh, the screws that hold this or that little gadget together, everything, that's machining, all of those things come together, and many of those skills are taught at ICTC. Absolutely, absolutely. Our machining program talks about that all the time. Just look around and, you know, just metal plates holding light switches. Mm-hmm. You know, those could have been punched out by a machine. Uh, yeah. And so, yes, we take for granted all the things that we just do automatically, get up in the morning, turn the light switch on. Mm-hmm. Uh, did you think about a machinist putting yeah. that together so that you could do that very easily? The very microphone you're speaking into. So yes, ev- absolutely. Everything, everything yes. that touches your I mind. love how you're looking at the world this morning, Todd Moreno. <laughs> it's wonderful. You should come to ICTC and spend a day. Well, machining is one of the many courses there at ICTC, and there will be many courses involved in a new project that you're doing on, uh, it's on Airport Road, right? It is. It is. Uh, ICTC has partnered with ICDC, mm-hmm. uh, the development corporation, and uh, there is a grant that was awarded, the Whole Home Repair Grant, and that you know, opens up the door of opportunity. And you, you think of that automatically, and you know that our construction trades are going to be involved in that. But it's going to expand out to involve many more of our students. Uh, this has been a wonderful opportunity, and it's going to be a great collaborative project. So as we see how this is blossoming and growing mm-hmm. throughout our hallways at the ICTC, it's going to be a wonderful opportunity for our students. So this is a county-owned vacant house. It is. It's located right there by the airport, the Jimmy mm-hmm. Stewart Airport. So it's a great location for the ICTC because it's just literally down over the hill. Mm-hmm. So travel time to the job site is minimal, and uh, the production then will be greater because – our students will have more time on task at yeah. that house. And they are going to be charged with renovating the interior as well as the exterior of that house. Mm-hmm. And I believe the end result of that will be additional office space available to county workers. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So interior work, obviously, carpentry will be involved. Carpentry. Um, uh, I don't, what are the other disciplines that you anticipate? Yeah, will be so there? It, how do you think our carpentry workers are getting over to the job site, Todd? Um, they're being driven by a, a vehicle. A vehicle, yeah. So through the grant, we were able to purchase a two vans that will help transport our students much more economically than perhaps a school bus. Mm-hmm. And so uh, our vans have been purchased. And guess what graphics is going to do for them? Uh, they're going to decal the vans. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. So they're going to go. use their 
skills, and uh, we're going to make that van, which is just a white van, two of them. They're just white vans right now. They're doing wraps? Is that what they're doing? Uh, I haven't heard wrap, but I've heard logo on each side, Uh uh, Indiana County Technology Center, so there'll be no doubt where that van belongs. Very nice. And they'll be using that then to move from the school to the job site. Mm -hmm. It'll uh, transport our students safely and allow them to get their work done on site. So that's a that's a nice opportunity. And then uh, also moving out, you know, as you tear out the interior and work on the exterior, uh, the exterior, I believe, has one of those metal fire escapes. Okay. And it needs some work. Mm-hmm. And so can you think of a program that might work on that metal fire escape and if make I, it stronger? If I had known there was going to be a quiz, I'd... <laughs> Wouldn't have participated. <laughs> Is this something for the welding? Oh my group? gosh, Todd, you're an A student. I knew you were. Okay. Yeah, because you meet with us each month. You know us well. I was stalling until I thought of something. Yes. But okay. Yes. So, so the welding group. So will the be welding involved? group will be involved with that fire escape to mm-hmm. make it more doable, more durable, and uh, at, you know, up to code. Should I assume that we're going to find something for the masonry students to do there, too? Masonry students will be coming around, yes, and uh, they have some work to do as well uh, on the outside of that home and making some sidewalks and things like that, I believe. Mm -hmm. Uh, So masonry, HVAC, electrical occupations, uh, that program is up and running, as you know, first year back this year and really coming up with some neat projects for that program Uh, We'll talk a little bit about some of the extra things that they're doing here even in the next month for downtown Indiana. But they'll be involved in this ICDC project as well. So um, the masonry will be inside refreshing that tack and the joints and uh, just really doing some great job in there. Tons of things uh, to when you get involved in it's. We were just talking about the machining and how every little thing uh, has to have been produced by somebody. Right. Uh, to put together a whole house. Yes. And in this case, to adapt that house uh, for an office setting uh, is, is really a special project. So. Yes. And, and I, I've not been over, but uh, I've heard from Mr. McDermott that, you know, the rooms are rather large. So this mm-hmm. is a big project. Good. And, and then there's one other program I'd, I'd like to throw out there, and okay. that's our digital communications. So uh-huh. you've worked with those students here at Renda, and those students are going to be preparing a documentary to show from start to finish. So it'll be a nice project to follow, and if, if you miss some of that, you'll be able to pick it up on the documentary video that they will produce to show the progression of this project. Culinary can help them, too, with cooking. I'm sure they're going to need some snacks yeah. because you can't work that hard and not have good food, right? <laughs> so all <laughs> of those things coming together for this one project. And this is one project, but there are many that uh, the right. ICTC gets involved in in the course of a year. Absolutely. Yeah, this is not our only project. Uh, we're currently working with downtown Indiana to refurbish the lights that will be used uh, for light up night. Mm -hmm. Uh, And so there are many lighting displays, as you know, that I think originated at the Blue Spruce Park uh, event years ago, and they're still working, but some of them need fixed up a bit. So uh, our electrical program is going to be working on that here in the next month, and we're participating in the parade. I'm going to put a shout out to our public service sector, where our culinary students, our cosmetology students, and and our digital communication students will be in the Indiana Theater Building uh, on light up night from uh, 4.30 to 6.30, Mm -hmm. and uh, face painting, tattoos, cookies, pictures, that's all going to be available for the younger crowd. They love to come in and get that. Fun stuff. Yeah, absolutely. So that's coming up. Uh, Last night, we hosted Financial Aid Night at ICTC. We had a large group of parents come in to learn about sending their students off to post-secondary and filling out the FAFSA form. Our FIA representative was there, so it was a nice evening at ICTC last night. And uh, coming up in a couple of weeks, we're going to be meeting with our industry partners through our Occupational Advisory Committee meetings. And so our teachers will be hearing from industry representatives you know, they're reviewing curriculum, they're reviewing equipment, and that's how we get our updates yeah. and how we stay current so that our students are ready for transfer from high school into the job market. That's an important thing. Oh, it's, it's, it's yeah. really part of the foundation of 
why our students are so successful. Yeah, it's and, our business and industry partners that help move us along and keep us growing. And it points out uh, how everything has to mesh together in order for ICTC to be optimum uh, and to do what it can for students. Uh, Absolutely. Uh, when, when that step is completed, then the students are ensured that they're getting the most up-to-date education, they're learning the skills that need to be learned and uh, right. the various techniques. And, and, and it's how you, we learn what industry certifications are out there yeah. and what our students need to have in order to be the top candidates for these positions that they have available. And so it, it very much is part of our foundation. So an ICTC education is going to get you that well-roundedness, and it'll get you on the job experience, too, like the project we were just talking Absolutely. about. Absolutely, yes, yes. And through our co-op program as seniors, I just talked to Mrs. Jones yesterday, we have about 13 or 14 students already out spending half of their day on the job site uh, because mm -hmm. they're well on their way to being an HVAC technician and uh, welder, and so they're out working with industry right now as a co-op student. Well, that is a whole bunch of stuff. It um, is. Thanks for letting us share. We're so excited to be in the community and sharing skills. And this is going to be exciting because it's always nice. And that's why it's so important for these students, too. These students working on this ICDC project are going to be able to drive by that house or yeah. that building years from now and say, I worked on that. Yeah. I, I took that from a vacant building mm -hmm. to something that is now being used for offices beautiful yeah it's a great project really is well that's that's exciting news kelly and i'm glad you came in to tell us about it and to show us and i'm glad you brought cookies with I you know, too so enjoy those <laughs> it's always good to chat with you todd all righty my goodness that's a lot of good stuff and uh, ictc uh, is is always there is always viable and is a great opportunity for students to get involved uh, in in a work sort of career right off the bat. It's Indiana in the morning, and it's WCCS 101.1 FM, AM 1160, and WCCSradio.com.